Stanley, Scuba, Sailing, and Adventures. Scuba Diving, the British Virgin Islands, Dive Site, Roan Reef. Roan Reef Dive Site is located east of Black Rock Point, Lee Bay, Salt Island. The dive site is described as having a maximum depth of 50 feet. The minimum recommended skill level for this dive site is open water diver certification. The dive site is pretty well protected from the weather with exposure only to weather patterns from the east. This dive site is located just to the southeast of the RMS Rhone wreck. It's so close, in fact, that some people dive the reef as an extension of the stern section dive of the RMS Rhone. I have videos posted of both the RMS bow and RMS stern dive sites. The dive site features large boulders and rock walls along the Salt Island shore. There are scattered fields of smaller boulders throughout the dive site. The reef features a very diverse ecosystem. Like the RMS Rhone wreck dive sites, currents may be an issue here too at times. This video was recorded over the course of a single tank dive. The dive started at approximately 2.30 in the afternoon and lasted nearly a full hour. My dive computer recorded a maximum depth of 56 feet and an average depth of 40 feet. The water temperature was very comfortable at 86 degrees Fahrenheit. I was diving in just a rash guard and trunks and was very comfortable. The visibility was not spectacular, but was about average for what I'd seen so far on this dive trip. The reef appeared healthy. There were quite a few smaller fish and not as many medium to large size fish. That's just my opinion and observation on this particular dive. I believe these little yellow fish, including the one that's a little bit bigger, are all different types of grunts, but I'm not exactly sure what types they are. If you know or have a guess, please leave it in the comments. I'd love to know. The one with the black line by its eye almost looks like it could maybe be a goby of some sort. Same with these little bitty black and white fish. They're just moving too quickly for me to get a good shot of them. I'm really struggling with their identification. Again, if you know, please leave a note in the comment and let me know what the name is. I feel like I'm really struggling with my fish identification overall today. I believe this inquisitive little black fish is a black hamlet. They range in size from three to four and a half inches with a maximum size of about six inches. They're usually found in depths between 10 and 40 feet. You can see what I meant by inquisitive. He kept coming back for another look. You can see here the visibility actually degraded a little bit during the dive. There was an increase in the particulate in the water and you can see it pretty clearly here in the video. 
that made photography fairly difficult, especially when you consider backscatter. This odd shaped swimmer, which I'm trying to get a better frame on, is a type of file fish. It's a scrawled file fish. They range in size from one to two and a half feet, reaching a maximum of about three feet. They're usually found in depths between 20 to 60 feet of water. Sometimes I'll trim out quite a bit of footage and just leave the part where I actually get the, the good frame. But you see here, it usually takes a few minutes with a fish, sometimes quite a bit longer, sometimes it never happens to get the right angle to get a good view and capture some of the colors you'll see here in a minute as he's turning back around you can really see the colors and the lines and the dots on this fish right there beautiful color a little too much particulate in the water for any good photographs but I really like this video you can see all the different parts of the fish there in the color Lots of activity on this dive site, lots of fish and interesting structures and plants and coral. I really enjoyed this dive site. I'd be happy to dive it again someday. I did have a unique experience toward the end of the dive. It was a first for me. You'll have to wait and see. Here's some type of box or cowfish. I think it might be a honeycomb cowfish, but I uh, couldn't get a good shot and tucked back into the rocks there. I'm fairly certain this parrotfish is a princess parrotfish or some type of hybrid. If you think it's something else, again, please let me know, but I'm fairly certain it's a princess parrotfish, probably the first one I've ever seen. They range in size from 8 to 10 inches, reaching a maximum of about 13 inches, and are usually found in depths between 10 to 80 feet. Here's a sea turtle off in the distance. He was headed toward the surface and with the visibility I just couldn't get any closer and he was moving quickly. Continuing on I came across this giant Caribbean lobster. I think his hole was a little too small for him. Look at his back legs. He can't really get his body into this crevice. He was in a spot where he really couldn't go anywhere and I could get close enough that I could get a couple good pictures. They'd be extreme close-ups, but a couple good pictures. Here's another parrotfish, this one a stoplight parrotfish. Love the colors on these. Didn't stay around very long. Here's the thing that I said was a surprise and unique for me. I had never seen an octopus during the day, but here he was, just sitting there. He was tucked in pretty good. I couldn't get much closer. I did turn around to try and get a different angle. That's as close as I could get with my camera. Definitely a first for me. Never seen an octopus during the day. I really enjoy them, but haven't seen all that many because I usually don't do that many night dives. I believe this odd shaped swimmer is a smooth trunk fish. Fairly certain in the identification. 
In the book, they look a bit darker, but all of the other characteristics seem to match. Again, let me know if you think it's something different. I really, he was tucked down between these two little ridges and I was trying to get close and get a good angle. So I followed him around for a bit, but it's just having a little bit of trouble getting a really good shot of him. I got a couple here. Anyway, the smooth trunk fish ranges in size from 6 to 10 inches, reaching a maximum of about a foot in length. They're most commonly found in water depths between 15 and 80 feet. Definitely an odd shaped swimmer. As I mentioned earlier, I didn't do as much editing in this video. You can see I'm turning around, trying to get different angles and get next to the fish. So here I'm upside down and sideways and then I'll go back up and try to come back at a different angle. The fish doesn't seem overly concerned with my presence. It was a great dive and eventually like all other dives had to end here we are back at the surface ready for a short dinghy ride back to the main ship thanks for watching please don't forget to subscribe like and comment